lot of people think that hair rigs are extremely complicated and yes it can be but you don't necessarily have to make it very complicated I'm going to quickly show you how to make a normal straightforward hair rig and a more complicated one which is actually uncomplicated called the KD rig now just to give you a, a brief rundown the normal hair rig as we know it don't need to be on a boilie or the bait presentation doesn't need to be a boilie it can be corn it can be tiger nuts it can be chickpeas it can be peanuts whatever the case might be but generally this is fished on the bottom and you would notice that I've got a small little silicon tubing there now the silicon tubing aids the turning of the hook and you want that hook to turn on your hand and actually bite into the flesh very simple very uncomplicated but huge amounts of fish have been caught on that in the past the KD rig has got a slightly different effect you, you fish it with a wafter or a pop-up obviously if you've got a pop-up right at the bottom you put a little split shot but the hook effectively lies flat so the minute that the fish picks up the bait the hook turns automatically and the hook point becomes what they call heavy and as the fish sucks it in he's got to push his tongue against his palate and that obviously sinks the hook so don't go and try and pull this around your finger or, or uh, over your hand because it's not going to grip every single time because that's not the point the hand palm test is not normally the way to test this this is tested because the fish will suck it in and put pressure on it and the minute he puts pressure on it the hook actually gets uh, grips right in there and if you see where we normally hook the fish they are hooked right in the center of the bottom lip but a little bit further in and this is what makes a KD rig super effective so let's quickly start off by I'm I can use either the end trap soft by quarter or the dark matter coated braid so either way it doesn't really matter I'm going to use this one for now and just as a rough measurement I just take just more than 30 centimeters of braid and I cut it off now for my normal hair rig I take 15 or 15 and a half centimeters of braid and I take my stripper tool and for all of you that know me out there I normally use my teeth but I think my wife is watching so I can't be doing that now right now I've stripped it off that part is coated this part is uncoated very easy I fold the braid double a lot of people would make just a single uh, knot I make a double knot and I like that knot to be slightly bigger as it nicely grips the bait especially when I use maize and items like that so right I've done that and now I'm just going to pull it tight and there I can use my teeth cut it off so I formed my loop now every single time I, st I make a new rig I use a sample hook bait to give me the right length now people would say what is the right length on a normal hair rig the desired length would be five millimeters or around about five millimeters below the bend of the hook so I'll put the bait on and where did I put my hooks let's see uh, I'm going to use a quarter wide gape X size 4 but you can really use any hook the curve shank also works really nicely and I need a piece of tubing any 0.5 or 0.75 millimeter silicon tubing will do the job and you don't need a lot of it just a small piece almost lost all my hook beads now there we go and I just push it through the braid just like so now I take the hook and I hook it on 
that sounds positive and I leave it on the bend just like that now I can pull the braid and this is where the the magic comes in if you want to know what is the perfect length for a hair you put the hook down on the on the table and if the bend of the hook does not lift up that is absolutely perfect so I will pull it until it starts lifting up and I'll pull it just that little bit back and you'll see that is approximately the length and all you do is a knotless knot very important I'm left-handed so for you out there the point of the hook is facing you and the hook is formed with the end of the hook on the top end so I would work from the bottom to the top so I'll work one two three four five six and I'll do a seventh one anything from five upwards is great for forming a perfect knotless knot the other thing as well is I always make sure that the hair comes out the back of the hook and also make sure that the hair sits on the back of the shank when it exits the tubing there we have it a perfect hair rig now to finish it off on the on the back end the desired length and I would say probably 85% of all the fish we've ever had was on a hook length uh, a hook link approximately 18 centimeters long so what I do is from the eye of the hook that's on zero I measure 19 and I fold it because once I've made the knot I've taken up another centimeter so all I do is I just make a double granny knot once and twice and then I just gently pull it like so I just wet it with a bit of saliva and again on my choddy tool and I just I ease the knot closed I don't force the knot I clip it off and there we have a perfect hair rig very simple to make but yet very effective